and welcome to Morning Transfer Talk. Let's get started. And Burnley are one of the three unnamed Premier League clubs at the time who are in discussions with Ashley Young's representatives over a one year contract. Yeah, we've just had to um, step away from commentating um, Belgium um, versus um, someone um, temporarily. Forgot who it is. Just to get it quickly, obviously, Moz and Boz have taken over from us. But, um, yeah, we'll just film this. If you're wondering about that, if you're watching it on JTV1 or JTV4 or BTV. Nuno Espirito Santo is edging closer to become an Everton's new manager, with the club hopeful he will be confirmed as their new manager within a week. Kylian Mbappe has cast doubt over his long-term future at PSG after admitting, does he know if the club is the best place for him? New Real Madrid boss Carlo Ancelotti has asked the club to pursue a move for Chelsea forward Timo Werner this summer. You just never learn. Didn't work with Eden Hazard. Timo Werner's been awful. It's not going to work. Arsenal have contracted Manchester United to ask about the future of Danny van der Beek, the Daily Express reports. Anthony Martial has been offered to Real as his agent wants to move him on from Manchester United, according to the Express. And it's official. David Moyes has signed a new three-year contract with the club and will manage them during their Europa League campaign next season. All right. And to sign a new three-year deal at West Ham, David Moyes told WestHamUnitedFC.com. Um, all right. Inside a very bad David Moyes impression here. I am delighted to have committed my future to West Ham United. This is where I want to be and I'm happy. I'm excited to be given this opportunity to build on what we've already achieved there. The owners and I are fully aligned with how we want to keep developing and um, improving this football club. And the board and everyone at the club has been fantastic to work with. Give me great support and I feel like we are all united in what we want to achieve in the coming years and how we might be able to achieve those things. We've made tremendous progress in the past 15 months and that has been a collective effort from everyone at the club. The players have already been superb but the challenge is for our standards to continue developing. We must keep pushing boundaries for consistent improvement as we aim to continue the growing of the club. I've said it before, West Ham United is a huge club with a wonderful fan base and stadium. It's not a wonderful stadium. It's a soulfish, It's a soulless goldfish bowl. And an enormous opportunity for further growth and success. I'm really excited by the ambition we have at the club. And we are going to work as hard as we possibly can to keep moving forward. And hopefully give our support as many a great memory. And then they're just talking about how that's fantastic news. Moving on. And that's our first on deal. Bradford of Sam Mansfield striker Andy Cook on a two year deal. Two Manny Diangara has also signed a one year deal at Morecambe. New one year deal at Morecambe. The now League One side. Using their old badge as well, though, I see. Celtic are weighing up a move for Brighton keeper Matt Ryan. With Celtic, they feel I feel like they're linked with a million players that are like just fringe in the Premier League. Like every single window, you always notice Celtic. One way or another. Breaking news! Tottenham confirm appointment of Fabio Paratici as managing director of football from July the 1st. Just look at that, Miss Mellon. Alright, let's um, just... The former chief football fisher at Juventus said... And um, he actually said, I'm thrilled by the fantastic opportunity and I thank the club and the chairman for trusting me. Tottenham is one of the top clubs in the UK and in Europe with an ambitious long-term plan, blah, blah, blah. And Daniel Levy said that he's known Fabio for a number of years and he brings with him a wealth of experience in scouting and blah, 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 blah. No one cares, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's been a boring day for the transfer window. And um, this day will be remembered for... Um, this is yesterday, by the way, the day before and uh, the day you're watching this um, in the morning. I might have called it evening transfer talk by mistake. This is morning transfer talk. But, um, yeah, this day will be remembered by the sad, sad moment where Christian Erickson did pass out. I mean, he's he was, he was made conscious pretty quickly, apparently. And awake, so... 
It could have been so much worse. He could have sadly even passed away. The sad thing is, I was getting flashbacks. Imagine if he died. I was getting like flashbacks of me only watching him on that 5 1 win against Udinese the last day of the Serie A season with Inter. He scored a free kick and it was a deflected one, but I just feel like that he just did that a couple of weeks ago and now he's gone. Almost like I'm a Fabrice Muamba story. Will he have to retire? I mean, uh, it could be worse, he could be dead, so. You know. Unbelievable player in his prime, though, so he will be remembered. Yeah, certainly. And he did win some trophies, alas, so. There you are. Anyways, um, that's it for today's episode. We will do um, a documentary about that at some point, probably on um, Monday, maybe, but. Yeah. See you um, in the evening.